On this worksheet, we're seeing a line chart, but it's quite a bit different on a typical line chart. In it, it has gaps and it reflects on the fact that the data over in columns B through H has some empty cells. But let's show some options here on how we can deal with empty cells. You right click on a chart and select data, or if you go to the chart design tab up on the top ribbon, you'll see a choice called select data. They both do the same to this dialog box. Lower left corner, hidden and empty cells. The default setting in Excel is to show the empty cells as gaps. Now, if you can imagine a column chart here, we just wouldn't see columns for these missing points here. But here's a line chart that stands out very obviously. Could we make this a zero? Or if it made sense to put a zero in the data? We could either do that or in this case simply choose zero. And all those points would be filled in on the chart with a zero value. And so if we'll look at Arizona, that's the big blue line you see near the bottom of the chart there, we're going to see that jumping to zero for February the 3rd. Click OK, and OK. And now we see those values. Every time we see a yellow cell over there on the data, we're seeing the zero value being a representative. And again, depending upon the data, that could be appropriate. Let's revisit this again. Let's go back to select data, hidden, and empty cells. Instead, we could choose connect data points with line. On the idea here could be, well, maybe we just didn't report that day. What if these were meter readings, something along those lines, and we just missed the day here on there, and let's just interpolate the value. So if we're looking there at Arizona, no data for February the 3rd, that's between the value 5. The value of 7 is as if we're putting in the value of 6 here. Now that won't really change the data, but that's the way that will appear on the chart. Connect data points with line. Let's not show any gaps. Click OK and OK. Now there are no points there, and that's a slight difference, but you see what's happened. For example, this dark green line right here, this represents Colorado. That February 5th entry, which is blank, we see the February 4th and the February 6th entries connected by a line. Maybe for a moment here on this chart, or for a while, we don't want to see the data from the Midwestern states. Or all together here, rows 5, 6, 7, and 8, and I'm going to hide those rows. And as I do, watch the chart. We don't see the data. And when you think about it, if you've got a chart and is an appropriate source of data nearby, you want that one-to-one -one visual relationships. When we want to hide the data, you have to see the data in the chart. I doubt it. But if we did, we could right-click on the chart, chart design, and select data. This time, hidden and empty cells show data in hidden rows and columns. Click OK. And OK. So we're seeing the data even though it's hidden. Let's go back to select data, hidden and empty cells and turn off that feature. Let's say that nearly always we would not want to show the hidden data when it's part of a chart source data. Eventually, at some point, we probably click on the upper left corner, right-click any row number, and bring back the data by unhiding those rows and then seeing these in our charts. So, different techniques here for using features available from that hidden on a chart design tab called Select Data, Hidden, and Empty Cells. Oh,